Welcome, I'm Nathan Newbro, CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, and we're thrilled to have you here in the lobby of the Mining Exchange Hotel here in Colorado Springs, the official hotel of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. I'm joined by our music director, Joseph Caballé Domenic, and we're gonna talk about Modest Mozorski's The Night on Bald Mountain. Yes, what a piece. <laughs> what a piece, what a piece, what a piece. You know, it's one of the first tone poems, Russian, one of the first Russian tone poems. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And interestingly, Mussorgsky, you know, he never performed it. Truly. So he composed that yeah. and, you know, his teachers thought that that was a bad composition or that mm -hmm. had no future. So he used the material for an opera that was never performed and then he used the material again for a cantata that was not performed so when he di he died he never heard the piece isn't that amazing that's amazing yeah. well, tell us about tell us about the man Mussorgsky the man yeah you know I think Mussorgsky it's probably one of the closest examples to a genius mm -hmm. I will say to a musical genius a uh, guy that was considered in his time like a crazy guy mm -hmm. uh, that his ideas were too revolutionary or too crazy to to make sense mm -hmm. uh, and you know, and his music was was good. So composers after he died realized that that was good stuff, and then they work on it. And that's the case of this piece. You know, uh, Rinsky Korsakov did a version of of, of this piece mm -hmm. because he thought that's that's a great music, and we have to use it. Yeah, Mussorgsky was a kind of. I mean, he did this piece very very young when he was only 28 years old, and he died actually a couple of years later, some years later. So it, he he was one of these geniuses that die soon, let's yeah. put it in this way. And his ideas of, of composing and instrumentating things were a little bit too risk for, for their, their moment. So it, it sounds very wild, actually. It's, it's, I will define him as a wild composer. And it's yeah. a wild composer, a composer writing music about a wild night. Uh, that's, in this piece, it's even yeah. crazy, right. because he, he wanted to write this symphonic poem about uh, St. John's Eve, uh, 23rd of June. And the history is about Satan and the dancing uh, about around this special night. And, and you know, irony of life, he finished the piece on 23rd of June. Isn't that amazing, great? So amazing. I don't well, know if that was program or not, but you know, it's perfect. Yeah, for this for this guy, it's perfect. And we, the, one of the, it's one of those pieces that we love to play because it showcases the orchestra in a way that not many pe not many pieces do. It's you know, it's it's a symphonic piece that shows, as you say, the orchestra, and everyone has an important deal of it. And obviously, we know it's it's a very popular piece. Uh, 1940 Fantasia, it's part of it. So yeah. they took it as a good good music and then they did the visuals for it so mm -hmm. it, it appeals to everyone right. well we're thrilled to bring it to our stage and if you'd like to know more about the Colorado Springs Philharmonic you can find us on Facebook Twitter Instagram or go to our website csphilharmonic.org thanks so much Joseph thank you